Good morning, guys. It's about 5.10 right now. I'm getting ready to walk out the door and go to the gym. It's just so cold. I'm putting off walking out the door as long as I can. But what I got for Christmas, so pretty fancy, pretty fancy. This will be the first time I'm working out in about three weeks. So I'm excited and nervous. Hope everything goes well. I hope my feet will hold up for me, but we shall see. It's been a rough afternoon. Kenny gave me a gas card. And now I'm being mean to making him pump the gas. But he's got a better jacket than I do. Is it cold out there? Not bad. Not bad. He didn't want to lose that man car by saying it was cold. It's like 25 degrees. We know it's cold. <laughs> Today was such a weird day. I'm honestly just stressed out, I'm tired, and kind of sore to be completely honest. Um, after I left my interview, I had to go, I had to go get something, I had to get something scanned to my email, but since I don't have a scanner, I had to get my mom to scan it for me, and on the way home, I got rear-ended. I mean, like, come on, 2018. This is, no, we're too soon for this mess. Um, I was sitting there waiting for the person in front of me to turn, and just, boom! I mean, I mean, it kind of scared me to death. I've honestly, I've honestly never been rear-ended before, at least not while I was the driver. It scared me to death. I just sat there for, like, a solid two minutes with my hand on my chest, like, trying to will my heartbeat to slow down, because it just... I don't know. I just was sitting there minding my own business. And the next thing I know, the entire car shook. And my life kind of flashed before my eyes a little bit. Like, it just was, I don't know, it was a lot. And then I had to wait in the freezing cold for the Pearl PD again. Y'all need to work on that response time. I don't know. Just one of those things. It cracked my entire bumper. I'll put pictures up right over here of what my car looks like. And I don't think the guy did it on purpose, but you could just tell he wasn't paying attention. And then he tried to play it off like, oh, well, why did you have to slam on your brakes? No, buddy. I was stopped. You just weren't paying attention, and you ate up my bumper. And then... Now the police officer is saying that their CAD system that they use to generate case um, case numbers is down and they don't have a timeline for when it's going to be fixed. Well, that's what you need to make a claim so that you can get your car fixed. And that's, it just, I mean, the whole bumper is going to have to be replaced. There's no way around it. Right now it's kind of ratchet and zip tied so that the bumper is not dragging the ground. Super cute. You know, just just a cherry on top of a already stressful day. But my interview went well. Seems like that could be a good good opportunity. Uh, I've got another one tomorrow at one. And then I got a call back today for a second interview with um, a company on Monday. So just interviewing my brains out at the moment trying to make the right decision but yeah now I have this smashed up car to deal with so that'll be fun anyway hey guys we're cooking again mm. okay today we're doing another crock pot recipe um, I found one 
for white chicken chili with cannellini beans. So that's what I'm gonna be putting together. All right, so we need one diced yellow onion. I have diced it up, going in the crock pot. Cans. All right, we need two cans of 15 ounces of cannellini beans. Okay, we also need two four two four ounce cans of diced green chili. Mm, those are pungent. Hi, right, you need 24 ounces of chicken broth, some minced garlic, some cumin, Oregano and cayenne pepper and there was some chili powder. I don't have chili powder, so I'm not gonna worry about it Right, right where do you think you're going? Okay, that was way too much oregano, but what else? And finally, we're going to add a can of whole kernel corn. Finish it off with some fresh cilantro. <laughs> Alright, now that everything's in there, we've got it stirred together. I'm gonna put it on low and let it cook for eight hours. So I will have something when I get back from work tonight. where you're just like how did I end up here where did my life go wrong what what is happening that was the interview that I was in today I'm pretty sure it was some type of pyramid scheme um, or Ponzi scheme in fact it was a group interview which I was in no way told about when they called to set it up but one woman in there after hearing the spiel that they gave actually asked so is this a pyramid scheme? Y'all, the person leading the interview, I thought her eyes were gonna pop out of her skull. And then the interviewer fought with one of the other people, like one of the other interviewees. He made a joke and said, oh, so we can spend about three to five hours a week doing this and we'll make blah, 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 blah money. And she said, <laughs> there's the door, you can leave. They went back and forth and back and forth. And he was like, no, I want to stay. And she goes, no, there's a door. Seriously, you can leave. And I was like looking around at the six other people in the room thinking, has anybody else ever had an interview like this? I feel like this is really weird. I feel like this is not the norm. But ultimately, she let him stay. And I think they're besties now. But it was just weird. It's been a weird week all around. But that's going to be all for this week's vlog. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by. Um, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know how your first week of 2018 went. And um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.